Hey Ryan, sometimes it's just easier with a video. Um, all right, so the thing with the permission formula status for all changes, read only, ads only, those types of things, um, you can't do anything based on specific record data. So like, you only want them to be able to do all changes when the status is pending. Well, you can't look at the record from that uh, update permissions formula space. It doesn't work there. Um, so the thing that I would do is instead of trying to, to work with that update permissions formula space, instead, um, you're, you're already on the right path down here where you're trying to create editable if statements. Do that. You'll, so you want to restrict it so that only certain fields are editable by certain people. So in order to, to do that, you have to go through for every field and make an editable if statement that applies for whatever. Now I would change, um, there's a few things about your statement in here that I wanna point out. So this, uh, where you say text, users, user role, that's not gonna work. What this is gonna do is, uh, it'll. this is gonna produce a list of every user role in the table because um, this right here, is like syntax and app sheet for go to the user table and pull for me every value that's in the user role. So for every record in the user table, pull, pull me every role value. And this will be a list, be a comma separated list. And so then this text thing just kind of puts it into a, a text format. So that's, that's not gonna work. What you need to do is um, you have to create a current user slice, so I'll make a link down to the post there that talks about that. That holds the single user that matches the user email of the person. And then what you need to do is you need to pull the user role from that. I, I wouldn't do this text thing. Um, if anything, at least do any. I use index, that's what I prefer. Um, but you could either or, they're going to work just fine. Uh, but basically you got to pull the current user's role and then use that and then instead of doing an or statement where you say or current user role equals this or current user role equals this or current user every time you do that current user thing current user thing current user thing it's recalling that value um, and so the you know the idea with formulas is you want to be as efficient as possible so if you can call the value once and use it and go from there Instead of calling it three times, the one is the better way to go. So the thing you could do here is instead of an or statement, use uh, a switch or you could use a list. If you used switch, you could do things like switch, index, current user role, and then you could say for the admin, these are the permissions for the manager, these are the permissions. So it gives you the ability to change what's allowed based on the role um, or if you just want to make it to where it's like if this is for the editable if statement where you just need like a true false type of thing um, what i do is use a list um, <clears throat> so the formula is in current user role right the index current user role thing uh, and then you have a list of all of your types of all of the roles that are acceptable and so you'll have to put this role restriction, like if you want to restrict a column to a specific role, you have to put this on the editable if. Um, if you, same thing for uh, if you have actions, like you have this thing up here to where it's like, you want people to be able to change, change things to completed or working or whatever. Uh, so you can make actions to make those data changes to, to the work orders. And so then there's conditions you can put on those. And so some form of this with a combination of looking at what is the status of the order. Because uh, when, you, when you get to an action level, you can it's per record. So you can call what is the status of the record that this user is looking at. So uh, instead, of, instead of trying to control things on the user permission side, instead focus your efforts on the actions. Um, so you, you don't want somebody to be able to delete a record 
then go to the that table's delete action and apply your formula you know whatever version of the formula that applies for that whatever permissions for the delete action put it on the action itself same thing for the add if you only want you know admins to be able to add then put the restriction on the add action uh, same thing for edits right so everything that could be controlled from update permissions can be controlled from the action side of stuff uh, and on the action side you have access to the specific record data so i recommend that hope it helps let me know Hey, I just wanted to say thanks for watching the video. Make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel with all the algorithm stuff that's going on I'm trying to build. Also, if you really want to show your love, you can head on over to patreon.com slash multitech. There's some goodies over there. It's 10 bucks a month. I got a lot of good stuff going on over there. Check it out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the community.